Gravy's Roar by Tom Percival Ravi was the youngest and the smallest in his family. Everyone was bigger than him. Even Biscuits the dog. Most of the time being the smallest was great. Sometimes, just sometimes, it wasn't. One day, Ravi and his family went on a picnic. There was a race to the train and guess who came last? Ravi. Everyone else got a comfy seat but Ravi had to squash him with Dad and Biscuits. Then Biscuits made a bad smell. When everyone got to the park, they played hide and seek. It was meant to be fun, but Ravi couldn't find anyone. At the adventure playground, the monkey bars were too high. The gaps between the logs were too wide. And when Ravi wanted to go on the big slide, the man said... Sorry, son, you're too small. Ravi got so cross that his face turned red. But then Dan said, Come on, let's get an ice cream. Everybody ran off and guess who came last? Ravi. And then when Ravi went to get his ice cream... There were none left. Well, that really did it. Ravi was furious. He growled and a stripy tail popped out from the back of his shorts. Then he sprouted two furry ears, sharp pointy teeth and stripy orange fur. Ravi had turned into a tiger. The tiger took a huge deep breath and then... Roared! (laughs) Ravi's brother looked a bit nervous and handed the tiger his ice cream. When the tiger went to sit down, there were no benches free, so he roared and everybody got out of the way. It was great being a tiger. The tiger did all the things that Ravi couldn't. He swung across the monkey bars, he leapt across the logs. He even slid down the big slide. Nobody dared to say no. So the tiger went wild. He roared and growled and did exactly what he wanted. Rawr! But soon he found that nobody wanted to play with him. Suddenly, the tiger felt a bit sad and nowhere near as cross. In fact, he couldn't quite remember what had made him so angry in the first place. I'm sorry, said the tiger in a quiet voice and when he said that, Everything felt better. That's okay, said Dad. Well done for saying sorry. Then, without even realising, Ravi became a boy once more. And that was the last time that Ravi ever turned into a tiger. Although, every now and then... 
he did have a bit of a growl. <sighs> Thanks for watching Love to Read with Miss Ellis. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Take care. Bye for now.